I see a palace. Wow, it sounds so good. Welcome back mm. to the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, Gene, we are, uh, as you noted. Oh, because I know why. We are uh, outside uh, a, a, a palace. I know why. Not just any palace. Yes, it's the new gambling mecca in Illinois <laughs> because they're going to pass legalized gambling. Iowa, has, has Wisconsin done it? Iowa's already passed it. Iowa, I'm so proud of them. We're so we're so good. Iowa got legalized gambling, and they passed gay marriage before California even did. So good job, Iowa. And I don't know if they allow marijuana though. I don't think they've gone that far. But well, I think Illinois just uh, approved it, right? Yeah, Is that something correct? recreational. And and now they're going to do gambling. Wait, where? Okay, so the palace is it a. a the palace is it a gambling? Pa- it looks very well, Gene, opulent. The, uh, I should I, know. I got jet lag, so I I'm not sure yeah, where you, we are. You 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 had the uh, the the window closed on the whole yes. flight. <laughs> I was so, so tired. So you're not sure where you're from. I know. I was where you are? Tired. Pretty tired. Uh, but Gene, uh, remember a lot of uh, WWF sporting events? Oh, uh, of course. Live from the Corn Palace. Oh my gosh, in South We're Dakota. Outside the Corn Palace. Yes. How did you find that? You know, I, really? How did you pick that? Well, Gene. I just I had a fond memory of a uh, cor- corn palace. Yeah. Again, uh, the WWE days. Yeah. We used to see uh, Hulk Hogan take you, on uh, right. whoever. Did uh, you go? Uh, no, not at the corn palace. Right, right. Actually, right. not at anyone. Uh, although I, they had a couple of shows at the Lacrosse Center. Yeah. They had a couple, uh, you know, those Saturday uh, yeah, wrestling shows. We, we did one, too. One of them yeah. was at Lacrosse Center. Yeah, I think you're right. The what, what something in Iowa, Sioux City, Iowa, or well, something. Well, we like that. had. I remember in in Dubuque at the fairgrounds, we had some jobbers out there. Uh, some of the oh. local guys. I don't know. Some one of the. Yeah, local was it circuit. a? Is it a fush, officially sanctioned WWF? No, no. But I've been to WWE. I went to their live event, and I've been to two Summer Slams. All right. Well, at, uh, at, by the at, way, at, at Staples Center, pretty great. By the way, in my household. There is yeah. no WWE. Oh, you're still WWE. It's WWF. Well, the animals would disagree because the that's pandas. the worldwide. F- yeah, hey, that's l- the pandas. L- l- let's see the pandas uh, <laughs> do the Boston Claw. All yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of a wrestling move. Like, no. What's, <laughs> that what's is. The famous? no, the Stone Cold Stunner. Nah, that was. Good. That no. was oh, uh, okay. Uh, see, Gene, uh, all that crap uh, uh, okay, after Hulk Hogan. Okay, after, the Rock. Uh, nah, the, the Rock. Rock, Rock, no, no, was, no, no. Rock see, had the people's elbow. Whew. Nah, see, I, I I'm old school, Gene. That, okay, uh, who would you? What the Hulk? Hulk had the the boot to the a head. sleeper. How about didn't shake the snake at a sleeper? Yeah, oh boy. What did the Iron Sheik have? He had something. Uh, I don't know. Kuwaiti. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Kuwaiti something. No, okay. Hey, All right. Well, Gene. Uh, yeah, again, we're we're at the cow cow. Well, by the way, I, I I was looking up pictures of the Corn Palace. Yeah. And it was saying it was in South Dakota. Now, it is. I, I forgot. Yeah, that it was in, I thought it was somewhere in Indiana well, or Ohio I, or something. I drove Iowa. to Sturgis, where the motorcycle rally is, which is about 1,200 miles from here. And then I drove across South Dakota. I went to Mount Rushmore, which is next to Sturgis. And uh, when I was driving across uh, South Dakota, first time ever there, and you're going into Minnesota, and I saw these signs, the Corn Palace, the world-famous Corn Palace. And then, and then when I went there, I, I, I stopped. It was really early in the morning, so there wasn't a concert going on. <laughs> it was just me outside the corn palace. Just you and the corn. But it was so beautiful. <laughs> they have a lot of concerts there, but it, it's a corn palace. Well, what was more magnificent, uh, the corn palace or Mount Rushmore? The corn palace, way <laughs> by far, cooler. By far. Way cooler. Well, kind of I this... mean, I was at Mount Rushmore. You're there. I don't know how people spend a day there. I was there. I saw it, and I was like, okay, I got it. And I moved on, basically. Yeah. But yeah, the Corn Palace is oh my gosh, beautiful. I love well, to see a concert there. I'll tell you what, Gene. Yeah. Uh, a a Landa Lakes butter truck better never hit this place. Uh oh, <laughs> because it's going to come tumbling down in yeah. uh, buttery deliciousness. How did you choose the Corn it, Palace? That's pretty cool. Uh, I, don't just, know, I, just, I was just trying, I was thinking of trying to think of Midwest uh, locations. That is a great one. I don't. What, but the Corn Palace. I, I don't even. And it's know lit up. They lit it up for us. Yeah, at nighttime. I, I mean, but it's so cool when when towns. I don't even know what to remember what town it's in, but when they come up with stuff like the corn palace, that's great. And by the way, what what's going on with Iowa? Iowa, where, where the is their corn largest, palace? I, we have we have the world's largest truck stop. <laughs> I've been yeah. there. And the world's largest uh, urinal patty yeah, as well. I know. 
Do you, can you do you just have to trust them? They're they're not lying to us when they say the world's largest. Yeah, truck stop? Where, where, is there verification? I don't know. I took. The, a do we measure that? What are we measuring in, yeah. by the way? Yeah. In toilets? And I don't know. Oh, and and guess what? Tomorrow, Bar flies. Tomorrow, I'm seeing the Grateful Dead for the first time ever. First time. Oh yeah. Dead Ed. I saw a bunch of people because how, how many of them? Right are, how many of them are left? By the way? I think uh, Bob Weir, John Mayer is their lead singer. John Mayer. John Mayer, yeah, okay. that John Mayer, he's supposed to be great. Do, with do, them. do you think the reason why they invited him to sing is uh, so they could get so they could start getting young trim? Yeah, <laughs> again. <laughs> well, like we can't really, have some old guy. It's really we, interesting because uh, we can't have some old guy from the Beach Boys well, sing. Let's uh, have John uh, Mayer. Jared Garcia died in '95, and and they kind of. By the way, doing I I remember that. By the way, that, yeah, was, that was a uh, big deal. I was uh, in my grandma's car, and we were like driving back from Green Bay or whatever, seeing yeah. my aunts. And like it was on the news, yeah. I and then that. and then they kind of they were kind of it was it was very similar to Queen. They tried out a few things, and then they hooked up with Adam Lambert. Now they're huge. And the same thing uh, in 2015, John Mayer sang with the Grateful Dead, and it just clicked. And now they're called Dead and Company, and they tour together. They've been it, touring it's, every it's year. The three or two other original guys. Oh, I don't know. Guys. I don't. I know Bob Weir is there. I probably two or three. I don't know. I, I I don't know their music. I just wanted to see them, so I'm seeing them at the Hollywood Ball. Very exciting. All right. They're there tonight and tomorrow. Tonight, tomorrow night's my first of sixteen Dang, this concerts. Is be a lot of, at a lot of the old Ball. lady, old, a lot of old and young ladies. Maybe I'll get Dan, some old Dan's trim. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, Gene. Okay. Just, uh, bring your uh, peyote. Yeah. Right. I mean, how are they gonna? There's gonna be so much weed. Even though you're not supposed to smoke it outside, but yep. people will. All right, well, Gene, I think we've even said the name of the show. It's oh, been about okay. seven minutes, but uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show. But it was case, great uh, what you did, because how would you not know it's about the Midwest? You're talking about South Dakota, which doesn't get a lot right. of love. <laughs> hey, yeah, home- Gene, how many other podcasts are talking about yeah. the, the Corn Palace? Huh? Do you know who the Jackrabbits are? South Dakota. The University of South Dakota. I oh, think really? it's, They're yeah. not the buffalo? The bison? The bison, that's North Dakota State. Oh, okay. That's where Carson Wentz went to school. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, South Dakota, All right. I think it's South Dakota State or South Dakota, but they're the Jackrabbits. And last year or the year before, one of their wrestlers won the NCAA title. So there you go. Do you think if you ask someone from North or South Dakota and ask them, uh, tell me five differences between your state and the other one? Yeah. Do you think they could do it? I um, mean, other than like the cities, like capital, yeah, but right, like, right. Well, like what? Culturally, how are you guys different? You know, yeah, because you know, Gene, even like people from Wisconsin or Iowa or Michigan or Minnesota right, right. or Illinois are all just kind of a little bit different. Yes, each state kind of has their own little culture. You know, like yeah. fibs. Yeah, you know, fibs. That's definitely a thing. Fibs. Yeah, fib. Okay. You mean lie? Fucking Illinois bastard. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know those that. guys that yeah. uh, are driving up the ninety four. Right. And they oh, got they got, yeah. they got the land of Lincoln. Oh my gosh! License plate. Yeah, taking all the good uh, campsites. Yeah, because they got they got the they got that Land Chicago delivery. money, <laughs> that big city Chicago hey, money. Did you see how many people were uh, shot this weekend in Chicago? They had ten murders, <laughs> ten people, thirty three people. I think it's thirty three people shot and ten people killed in Chicago. The Memorial Memorial Day weekend. I don't think those are the same people That's going weekend. up north to uh, no, Wisconsin I know, to camp. I know. I know. Hey, I think maybe they should. My hometown. Shoot a deer, not not your friend, not your neighbor. We're on the Illinois and Wisconsin border, so we we have two bridges. One bridge is over to the folks of Wisconsin, the other Illinois. So we have to be nice to both states. It's like uh, if we want their commerce, like this way for beer, this way for crack. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. All right. All right. Wow. Um, All right. So (laughs) my name is Chris Dats, and then uh, that's Gene Steichen. Oh my gosh. And we uh we have a lot of great. A lot of great sports news, Gene. Yeah, and finally, one today. Finally, it's goodness. a week where the NFL gets pushed to the back page. Did anything happen? Even though the best stories are in the NFL. Uh, yeah. But yeah, counting down. But we, just, we don't actually. You're not talking too much baseball. Okay. But Gene, do you want to? The, the the Cubs got yeah. swept by the way by the Cardinals oh this my past gosh. weekend. Chris Chris Bryant, he. He got so booed what, all weekend. What did he say? Did, did he say something other than it's a boring city no, at the beginning of the no. season? No, They asked him what cities is his least favorite to stay in. I mean, it's a normal. This was at well, the they're, Cubs they're convention. Just, they're just they setting him around. up. 
I know. And he Come said on. St. Louis is boring, and that, boy, oh boy. And then he he didn't he didn't really have a great weekend either. He struck out a bunch, and wow, they let him have it. So. Good job, St. Louis. Hey, got in his head. Be careful now. You got to come to Wrigley this weekend. So, and then the Cubs come to LA next week. By the way, uh, did Joe Madden just uh, oh overmanage the hell yeah. out of each one of these games? It's like, buddy, you're going to lose either way. Just what about just this? We get out of here quick. Saturday night, I, I I fell asleep. I didn't even know they kept playing. They went into a three hour rain delay Saturday night. They started playing again in the bottom of the fifth at eleven fifteen local at time night. or at no in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, local time. So yeah. they that game and then they scored a bunch more runs. So that game didn't get over till what two o'clock in the morning probably. Just That's why, crazy. why can't you guys have a doubleheader later in September? I don't know. That one got got to finish sense. the game today, huh? Yeah. Then I woke up the next day. I go. I wonder if they ever got that game going again. Uh, yeah, they so, did. And the Cubs lost. Was it because the Cardinals were ahead at the time? I bet that's why it, they, they it, wanted to yeah. finish it. Mm. Yeah, I think Cardinals, the local team is hey, too just much. Just be careful, Cardinals. You got to come to. Mm, and the payback. Brewers, the Brewers, Brewers were great. three out of four against the Pirates. That's a very, very good team. impressive. Um, that's very impressive. Yep, so good series. And then the uh, that Saturday game, the Brewers had an epic. It was a great game. It was back and forth, ten to eight, ten to ten, twelve to ten. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Orlando Arcia, short little guy, second base or what? Shortstop, right? I, I always get those positions oh, mixed yeah. up. And uh, yeah, shortstop, and uh, had two separate two-run home runs. Wow! So uh, nice, hey, nice offensive Brewers, series. Back in first place. I yep. just said Cubs have been scuffling, so hopefully. <laughs> it's a little, little, little tougher when you actually have teams that fight back, oh, right? Wait a second. Uh, they you, come, you know, these so this week, this oh, this has got to be payback because Colorado comes to Chicago, and they're the <laughs> ones that knocked the Cubs out of the playoffs <laughs> last year in the wild card game. Yeah, do you think I really remember? Careful, Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Colorado, they've they won like eight in a row, though, yeah, right? Yeah, they're pretty or good. Like yeah. Yep. All right, well, Gene, we are going to start with uh, Hoops. Oh, I actually you know, this watch is, this. I, I know we talk a lot of hoops around here. I yeah. hope uh, people can stomach some more hoops. But, I, uh, can. I can. It's the NBA Finals, Gene. Right. And all anyone wants to talk about is Drake. 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 I, I, he is so popular in the rap world. So you got to give him credit on that. But, man, I, I don't know. Did you see what he was wearing yesterday? I, I did not. What was he? He, he wear he he. He's uh, wearing number thirty. He wears right? in a sweat. No, he what yesterday the one day the first game he wore a, a Del Curry a oh, jersey right. a Curry so in Toronto. You know his dad my his dad bounced around so he must have played for that's, Toronto. Yeah, he did. Time. But that's I don't know what, what is he trying to show there? Yeah. right? I mean that. Well, he, did he even know? By the way, did he even cheer for him at the time? I, when Drake knows? could Drake have even known he that guy? He was on a different bandwagon back then. And could, then if you showed him a picture of ten former. Raptors? Could he pick out mm, Del Curry? I don't think so. Probably not. And then, and then, uh, la- yesterday he wore a sweatshirt. On the back of it, it had the Home Alone, like uh, Macaulay Culkin, because uh, he's Home Alone. Except they had a picture of Kevin Durant, Home Alone, <laughs> although he was actually at the game. Oh, so Drake is playing mind games. <laughs> wow. This guy's mm. taking a chapter out of the Belichick uh, yeah. mind games book. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, America's not the only one. Not watching. Fed up with Drake's uh, oh, really? antics. Oh, okay. The rapper might be toned down for the finals, according to ESPN's Michael Steele. Or maybe that's Michelle. I think it's Michelle Steele. Right. Uh, the NBA, according to Michelle uh, Steele, the NBA spoke to the Toronto Raptors during the Eastern Conference Finals about Drake's activity mm. and presence on the sidelines. Last postseason, the league warned Drake after he called Kendrick Perkins, among other things, a fucking pussy. Oh boy, that's strong language coming Don't you, from. What? Not from you. That's Again, they're language, listen. I strong language. listen. This guy's not saying the n word or anything right, like that, right. but like they're they're kicking guys out for you know using uh, offensive language to people. Right. Like. But this guy gets to call uh, players pussy to their face. Mm, don't like that. And by the way, <laughs> Do not like it's that. really easy to call a giant seven-foot man a fucking pussy when you know he can't do anything to you mm. because he'd get fined or suspended yeah. or whatever. I mean, if, if it was at the bar, uh, Drake? Yeah, Drake. I, what's his name? Aubrey? His name is Aubrey or so, Audrey oh, or something I don't, like that? Aubrey? I don't know. I don't um, think. You know, some of those rappers, some of those guys or hip-hop guys, are g- kind of gangsters. A lot of them, or some of them, end up in prison. Uh, Suge Knight, uh, but 
He's he doesn't seem like a gangster. No, he was an he? actor, right? He was an actor in and like a Disney a... show or oh, okay. something like that, like a kid's yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, and it, and this goes a little bit step further. In an interview with Yahoo's Chris Haynes, mm. Commissioner Adam Silver said he had spoken to the rapper directly. Oh, I uh, Gene, I'm uh, I hate to do this, but oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think yeah, go the ahead. I think the Toronto Raptors should have been disqualified last round. <laughs> I think we should wow. just cancel the finals. Listen, yeah. well, the Bucks will take the one and one right now. Right, that's fine. Yeah, but I think it's time to put an end to this madness. Yeah, it, it is. And it is put madness. Put Giannis. Yeah, hey, listen, uh, Giannis's dad not out there. Right, G- giving back massages to anyone. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, or, people uh, compare him to Jack. I heard Bill Simmons say, or, "No, I don't know who it was." <laughs> Jack always Jack. sat there. Jack, Jack, Jack's not wearing uh, jerseys of yeah. the uh, opposing <laughs> players' I know, dance. I know, I know. You're right. You're right. Jesus. He just sat there. Oh I my mean, gosh! <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. There's your goddamn. Uh, <laughs> there's your NBA hey, final. But, so what? It's one one. So what do you? Yeah, uh, one to one. I don't uh, know. Are you watching any of these games? Yeah, I watched it yesterday. But I did not. I mean, I I watch it without the sound. I edit on in the background and <laughs> yeah. just watch something else. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm really torn. I, I Canada is a great country. There are neighbors. I I'm all for them winning. If it wasn't for Drake, I think I'd be rooting for Toronto. Yeah. yeah. Way way to go, Drake. Single handedly uh, turning your team into uh, yeah. making everyone know. root for the Golden State Warriors. Well done. Well yeah. done. I, well done, I, Drake. What, what'd you rap about that? I'll I'll be happy. You, I don't know. I don't care. You, you I gotta, want more. You got a rhyme there. about that, Drake? Oh, okay. There you go. Huh? Have you ever listened to his music? Yeah, I had to because it's every fucking everywhere. By the <laughs> way, he, he's just, he's just copying Little Wayne and making it more safe for uh, white people. That's all he oh, is. Is that his he, audience? I th- I thought he was Little Wayne when he first started getting big. Mm. I'm like, is that Little Wayne? No, it's yeah. Drake. Mm. All right. <laughs> I I don't yeah. really know. His yeah, you don't know about. anything I'm talking about, James. I don't That's think fine. I would. I, the only rapper I, or well, uh, Gene, there's only one person that knows less about rap is you. I than know, me, but is you. I, I would see I would see Eminem. I would. <laughs> I'd go see him. That's about that's about Gene Eminem hates people like you, but <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Or maybe I'd see yeah, hates people like me too, but maybe I'd see Jay Z. Right, okay, so let's let's do the uh honorable thing and uh disqualify okay. the Raptors. Okay, so Gene that. Yeah. Uh, former uh, Louisville coach Rick Pitino. He deserves every bad thing that's going to happen to him in the future. Well, Gene, he's in the news because yeah. uh, did you know that he's coaching a Greek I know. basketball I team? It's some professional team over there. Uh, P- Panathikinos? Uh, Panathikinos? Yeah, th- why not? Why Why do these Greek people got to make their words so long? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. What pa- Pathanikios? Are. Yeah. Do they just like to talk? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, Rick Pitino has criticized fans of the Greek club for smoking and lighting flares during games. Wow. Saying they are showing a lack of respect for the players. It's extremely self-centered and selfish pe- of people. Pitino said late Wednesday after uh, pa- Pathanikos mm. beat uh, P- P- Paris Seri. How much is Paris? I, yeah. W- w- why had the Seri? I don't know. Just Paris What's Seri. he doing over there? Uh, sixty nine. Well, <laughs> who's gonna let him? I know, I, coach over here. He, he's disgraced, Gene. Well, I know he is, but what the hell is he's he doing disgraced. in Greece? Oh my uh, god! I, I smoke. Cig- uh, he, he described the atmosphere in the game as awful. I smoke cigars on a golf course, but there's nobody else around. But you're in an arena, and ten thousand people are smoking, and the players are choking. So sooner or later. You have to say, hey, man, we're an athletic event, and I'm going to discipline myself, and we'll wait until halftime. Wait to endear yourself hey, to the Hey, halftime is 24 minutes, okay? <laughs> right. And there's goddamn com- – oh, there's no commercials in Greek basketball? Okay. I don't know. What, what kind of setup? I, I mean, wow, you, here you can't even smoke in a lot of cities now. Not even <laughs> – You can't even smoke to a bar. You can't even smoke in lacrosse bars anymore, Gene. Well, yeah, Wisconsin, they How about the Quad City? Later. How about Dubuque? I, I, Dubu- I, Dubuque can you smoke yeah. in bars? I don't know. I think they outlawed it too. They, but most of them have smoking patios in the back. But here you can in LA. Yeah, you, you can't even smoke. I don't know. They make it tough. They'll let a homeless guy set up a tent on a yeah, sidewalk, right, but uh, right. exactly. light, light a cigarette yep. in a yep. restaurant. Yep, you're going there to you jail, go. buddy. We're we calling the cops. Now, I saw we have we have fifty two thousand homeless people in LA. <laughs> God. That's amazing. It's more people than across Wisconsin. Yeah, right. it's just amazing. Um. 
Okay, so let me just finish this so up. Quit complaining, uh, Rick. But we, you're lucky you even have a job. He he, <laughs> he should be doing penance well, Gina, somewhere. Have you seen these? Have you seen these pictures of the events? They're no. like it, they are they are literally shooting off flares and fireworks inside like a basketball gym, like oh, a high school that, basketball yeah, gym. Yeah, great. Sex. I'm all for it. Not good. Uh, yeah. They don't care about young people and the athletes who are breathing it in. Mm. Yeah, uh, Rick. Yeah, you wouldn't want any uh, anyone to get any birth defects, huh? <laughs> you won't have to have anyone to oh, have no. to abort their baby. Right, right, right. Right. God oh, forbid my that. Gosh, are you talking about? You're, yeah, you're, you're very, you're very concerned about a young kid's health. Right. And why you talk his thirty second fling on a Louisville? He paid bar. for a woman's abortion, right? Yeah. He's a yeah. millionaire coach. Can't. Yeah, yeah. She was like an IHOP waitress. Yeah. I mean, what's what's the alimony on that? I don't know, eighty bucks a mm, week. I don't, I don't know. I mean, she shops at Walmart for God's yeah, sake, Rick. Right. Yeah, Walmart. By the way, Rick, you don't have to tell her what you do. Mm-mm. Just say you you sell you sell knives. Zip it, Rick. <laughs> He's got to be one of the most unlikable persons <laughs> I've ever come across. Really? Hey, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. Hey, I'm did, glad. Did you, did you see his opening press conference for uh, P- P- Pathanikinos? <laughs> no. He was at the he was at the Diaz, um, the Diaz. I don't know the the podium. Okay. And he was like, uh, you know, you know, folks. Zeus is not walking through that door. <laughs> Athena <laughs> is not walking through that door. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Pegasus. Oh, okay. More. Ain't walk. And if they do, they're old and great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who else. Uh, uh, that, those are all the Greek gods. My dad used to know all those Greek gods. Mars. I don't. I, don't want, I just want to start naming planets because right, that'd right. be bad, right? Yeah. All right. Um. All right, Gene. And then uh, how about we talk a little puck? Yeah, I was all excited about St. Louis. I don't care if you're from Chicago. Now, I don't like the Cardinals, but I'm all for the St. Louis Blues win, and that would be so cool. And then they, and then the fan base gets all excited. Then they get crushed in Game Three, their first home game, Stanley Cup since 1970. Yeah, well, Gene, did you know that there's a Stanley Cup going on? I, I did. I, I did shocked. because it's St. Louis. I was shocked to I, learn I, about this. I haven't watched any of it. And then, do you? Okay, so you know, my next question was, could you name any teams in the Stanley Cup? You got one. I, I no. Do you know I the know, other I one? know Boston's in it because right, of Bill Simmons. Yeah, it's hard not to know. Now, if Carolina, oh was God, in is, it, is, um, is he talking about like uh, hockey? Like, yeah, he, like he's like, yeah. oh, they got to start playing uh, whoever the fuck. More minutes. So annoying. But or so, uh, this is just like uh, the, the Sopranos in yeah. season six when I mean, uh, it's Tony. Such a great story for for uh, St. Louis, it, but they got to win, though. They it can't just be, yeah, yeah. Oh well. All right, they so that, that's seven our, to one or wh- seven what's, to two. What's the uh, what's they're the down score? Two games to one. At least they won one St. in Louis's? Boston. So they're they're down two games to one. Boston has home ice advantage, but <laughs> game four. Which is now pretty crucial. Game four is in St. Louis, uh, probably tomorrow. I guess. By the way, what 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 channel are these games on? I don't, uh, I don't know if they're on NBC or NBC Sports C- Network. CNN Headline News. Uh, yeah, I don't. What? I I don't know if they're on. Why, regular why are these TV. games on NBC? I I don't know. If I'm sorry, but they're not showing Seinfeld anymore, right? Or Friends? Yeah. I mean, what they else are they showing? They might not even be on NBC. They might be on NBC Sports Network. Do we need one more show about singing? We, we oh can't have gosh. hockey on TV. Right, right, right. How about you know? Listen, I, I'm not listen, Gene. I'm not a uh, a commissioner of any sport of oh, any I kind. See. No. But when you write these TV contracts, how about you write? Uh, you put our finals on network TV. How yeah. about that? Yeah. How about that clause? Hey, remember they used to have a deal with ESPN, and somehow they blew it. So, uh, that's rough. they probably acted like the, I don't know. I think it, well, I don't when know. they lost, they should have stayed. I don't know how that fell apart, but boy, that hurts. I mean, are the are, are these ratings worse in baseball? Whose ratings are worse? No, Stanley Cup hockey's got to be worse because people don't even know about it. Really, <laughs> well, I know because they're not advertising it. But okay, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> well good luck. Well, to, are you? Well, what are they showing? Her? The Biggest Loser on NBC? Well, like <laughs> Jesus God, I don't think that. Show's like, what on. is that even on NBC? What is, is, is the voice? Still on? Uh, maybe one of those. No, what's those? Uh, yeah. th- those lawyer shows that they they. No oh, special uh, law yeah, and order. Yeah, yeah, law and order. That series. Is law that o- still on? Law and order think? kitty porn unit. Oh my! For God. all the, it's on. That one's on late. Oh, all right. Well, Gene, let's talk about football. Let's talk about something a little bit more pleasing. Oh my gosh! A little more, uh, you know, concrete. Right. A little more um, satisfying, should we say? Unlike these other. J- joke sports right right 
Uh, bad news out of uh, ba- Packers Did camp. You, what was the game? He, he was playing basketball, but he was doing elimination something. Someone tore their ACL. Oh, my gosh. That's right, Gene. Our first, first ACL injury of the year. And who is it? The stupid coach. I hope it's not. I hope it's not a Rod. Oh yeah, I think he's okay. Hope it's not. He, he survived it, battle or Game of Thrones. Hope it's not Devonte Adams. Oh, see, Gene, it. you see how I'm setting this up? And oh, then I you're, see. You're I, like, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not either. Is it? Don't tell me it's uh, not him. Well, Gene, let me check my notes here. It's it's Matt Lafleur, head oh, coach. Oh, he's the head coach. Oh, okay. Wow. According How to, did he do that? According to Michael Sir, see now now you're playing the game. Now there not you now you're podcasting, all right, Gene. All right, all right. How did how did how do you how do you chair an ACL as a young coach? <laughs> Gene, you should teach uh, the Ed McMahon, <laughs> the school of uh, yes and. Yeah, yes. How do Gene, you do that? According to Michael Silver of NFL Network, Packers coach Matt Lafleur tore his eight, eight Achilles. Mm. Is that the same as your ACL? Achilles. By the way, the by the way, Achilles no, is not no, walking Achilles. through that door, Gene. Yeah, no. And if he you, does, he's you, old and gray, and he's hey, got an Achilles injury. You, Achilles is a back of your ankle. The, oh, the, really? Uh, okay, that's, uh, that's that's the worst you can get. That one lays you up for a year, and and it uh, it's yeah, you can't run it's after worse, that. Right? It's worse than ACL. Okay, way worse. While playing basketball Wednesday night. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Your coach. You don't hear that too often, Gene. Coach yeah. tearing his uh, ACL. I don't basketball. think I've ever heard that. But yep. man, it's gonna because that's a long recovery from that injury, yep. long recovery. And I guess from what I I read, he's pretty active. He likes to run around a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna kind of slow him down. Well, Gene, I uh, I tell you, Gene, this is why Andy Reid doesn't play basketball. Okay? Oh my gosh! Or Maybe engage in any physical activities whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe you'll be coaching from the press box. Remember when yeah. uh, who put Dom Capers on the field? On, put oh, him on I the think mic. Joe Paterno actually got run over one of his oh, last years. He had a terrible uh, leg injury, right? Yeah, like, yeah. How do you he not got re- hit by a player. He had to coach from the press box. Why do you not retire? God, the freaking old man oh, probably looking gosh. at uh, like a, at the sky. I, I don't know. And that this guy just so runs poorly. into him. Yeah. But that's, that's not good for him or the Packers, really. Yeah, Is make it? him feel like one of the guys, right? Yeah, all right. All right. And then, uh, Gene, we got uh, a couple of Mitch Trubisky stories. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I know one. Okay. I'll, all right. So oh, just, what well, about what? – okay, I'll play along. <laughs> what? Oh, Mitch, Gene. Mitch, Mitch is in the news. Gene, it's only what been four Mitch years. <laughs> okay. Now you're going to play along. What is – is Mitch up to – is he out having fun? <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear Mitch Trubisky news. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to hear what Mitch Trubisky has been doing in the offseason. Well, Gene, again, it's the uh, OTAs, the off – Oh, okay. Is it the uh, tryouts or whatever? Right. No, the uh, – Yeah. Volunteer. Workouts. Those are still and we're, we're always getting all these quotes, all these quotes from minicamp about who, so-and-so is having a great uh, right. minicamp and yeah. this guy's finally learned the playbook and all this stuff. Well, um, here's some quotes out of Bears minicamp referring to Mitch Trubisky. This is going to be his third year, correct? Yes, is that right? it is. Yep. Our standard for him is extremely high. Helfrich said via the team's website, is that the offensive coordinator? Yes, he used to be the Oregon coach, and it's his second year offensive coordinator. But just as far as the operation of not only what he's supposed to do, what the defense is doing, manipulating protections, just the air bottom is way different. And everybody has noted that, observed that in various ways. Therefore, people around him are playing better, and that helps too. Wow. Nice quote. Good quote. Uh, Jeannie said, just the air around him is, oh, is, yeah. is, is way different. I, yeah. It's way different. Yeah. He, little, hey. little, little too many uh, deep dish pizzas, <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> what, what else was Mitch doing? Was that your uh, uh, That's first? not the only. That's the oh. only, that's not the only. Mitch lo- long spending, way for a Mitch Trubisky uh, yeah, gas Yeah, was year. he spending all his off time studying the playbook? Well, or did, Gene, did he have a chance to he, go out and uh, he, see the city? Or he's see... getting around Chicago. Oh, was he? Hmm. In fact, uh, so, Bears quarterback Mitch Trubisky endeared right, himself right, to fans right. and teammates yeah. when he was asked to throw out the first pitch at the Chicago yeah. White Sox game on Friday night. Yeah. Not only did he do that, but Trubisky brought his offensive line with him. That was really cool. To, to the see. pitcher's mound yeah. before the game. Having left tackle, uh, Charles Leno, left guards, James Daniels, right, Cody right. Whitehair, Bob Massey, Joel Lowry, standing in front of him while he threw the first pitch. Mm. Uh, Gene, first yeah. of all, uh, three of these guys are going to get cut. 
Oh boy! Before the season starts. <laughs> no. Okay. Number one. <laughs> no, they're not. All right. You're, Number two, Gene. Tripping. Yes. Uh, the White Sox. Yeah. The White Sox. I know. The, I don't. The get White that. Sox. I know. Why is he at the White Sox? That's what stumped me. I mean, the Cubs are out of town, but just wait for him to get back and right. do it at Cubs. Game. I mean, are you that desperate, Mitch, to throw out a baseball mm. to be in the center of attention? By the way, Gene, how, how does anyone even become a White Sox fan? I mean, how does the organization even exist? I'm amazed. Oh, they are, oh, I don't want to say anything bad about White Sox because they won the title in 2005. Uh, and they had the scandal, 1919 Black Sox scandal. But, uh, yeah, people, I think if you grew up on the south side where the White Sox, not a great neighborhood. I went there last year for a game. I guess if you grew up in a certain neighborhood or whatever, or your family, your White Do you Sox Do you think they're, fan. like, proud anti-Cubs fans? Yes, do you think that's what I it do. Is? I think a lot of them don't like the Cubs Kind, of like, how, kind of like how Mets fans but are, I like, mean, anti-Yankees fans? Great, Wrigleyville, compare Wrigleyville to where the White Sox are. Yikes. No thanks. <laughs> I went there once. That's plenty for me. Yeah, there's no, there's no comparison to the surrounding area and the atmosphere. No, nothing. Well, you know, they need, they need to play in a, in a, in a corn palace. Yes, in South Dakota. Start building Chicago. Or you can play Field of Dreams in beautiful Dyersville, Iowa. Yep. All right, and Gene, um, we're going to talk about uh, Megatron, mm, a.k.a. Bad. Calvin Johnson. Hopefully he doesn't need money. Well, he, that, uh, of there, course, there you go. he That's retired a, a number of years ago abruptly. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the Detroit Lions... Um, have been feverishly trying to reconnect with him and use him for uh, promotion materials and mm. blah, 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 and get him back and retire his ring of honor and all this crap. Uh, Calvin Johnson's not having it. Not at all. Not having it. Very pissed off. Uh, they already know what they got to do. Johnson told the free press at the annual camp he runs for local high school S- I'm sorry, for local high school students Saturday in Metro Detroit. The only way they're going to get me back is that they put that money back in my pocket. Mm, that, that, I think he could have worded that a little better. Nah, you don't do that. I don't care what they say. They can put it back, and then they can have me back. That's the bottom line. Well, technically. The money, the money Johnson is referring to is a multi-million dollar portion of that $16 million bonus that he got from the yeah, franchise in 2011. In the, in the, when the receiver amount announces retirement, the Lions made and paid that back, that portion, to the right. organization, much like they did with Barry Sanders in 1999. Yeah. Well. How did well, that go, Detroit? I know. Bed form. I mean, they technically. He, he, they, and Barry, Barry mean, Sanders hasn't done any promotion for them, right? Well, Sanderson? he's back doing. I No, it's, it's been rough there, too. But I think he's 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 closer to them than uh calvin john but that's tough what the the he he retired they gave him a bunch of money and he didn't live up to his contract but i don't what know was it like a signing bonus though yeah something? it was his bonus but he, he, he yeah yeah listen they, they made these guys made plenty of money off yeah. calvin johnson i'm no i know when it comes I to know. detroit fuck yeah. detroit oh, as an wow, organization that's very strong uh but again you know detroit you know they're gonna have the 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 best all-star team of players driven wow. to retirement because of their poor management. They, they already got the best running back of all time. They already got the best uh, yeah. how wide receiver. They, how can they not figure anything out ever? It seems they're they're. It just I don't know. How can they? How in sixty years or fifty fifty three years? I don't know. How did they not end up in the Super Bowl once? <laughs> I mean, Cleveland, they had some good teams, and they got bounced out, unfortunately. But Detroit. Well, they're also mad. out of the league for like five years, right? Yeah. When they, when they moved to Baltimore. Yeah. They were kidnapped to Baltimore. Yeah. They didn't, so there you yeah. go. I'm sure they would have won a championship one of those years. Well, they could have won a couple of years. Denver knocked them out. So that was rough. I don't know, Detroit. Oh, uh, they would have gotten their asses whooped by the Niners. Though, yeah, right? probably. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because Denver did. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, there you go, Detroit. Hey, may I give uh, pay kudos also to the the city of Milwaukee for having a first place team? There you go. For what? The oh, Brewers. The ba- baseball? Yeah. Well, Gene, you know, in the state of Wisconsin, it's all about championships. Oh, okay. And uh, The Brewers haven't won. They were the Milwaukee Braves in 1954, was it? Something yeah, something like that. Like that. Yeah. So, well, if the Cubs can't win... 
I'm all in on the Brewers. And may the St. Louis Blues turn it around, and may you win your first ever Stanley Cup. There you go. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll root for St. Louis. Oh, yeah. Because what are the chances those idiot Cardinal fans are, uh, what do you call it, hockey fans? Probably yeah. not, not that much. Although right. their St. Louis Blues got their ass kicked Saturday night, and there was their coach getting interviewed at the Cardinals game the next day. I'm like, what the <laughs> oh, hell yeah. are you doing here, dude? They're like, uh, can you explain the game of hockey to all the uh, <laughs> Cardinals fans? How many yeah. strikes do you get Yeah. per puck? Yeah. He's there drinking a beer, getting interviewed, so. Uh, just like uh, coach. Yeah. So so what? He got his ass whooped, or they won? seven to two. They lost seven to two at home. Seven to two or seven to one. So yeah, he's not looking at the the playbook. I don't know. I don't know. He's not looking at maybe the wings. He said, maybe tell them let's just get away for a uh, day and, and enjoy a, a Cardinals game <laughs> against the Cubs. There we go. Trust That'll me, no one there. will no one will recognize us. Yeah. And like the people next to him be like, oh, why are they interviewing you? What? Yeah. What do you? You, you, you coach uh, recreational hockey, kid, kids hockey? <laughs> hey, they asking you about a hockey game? Yeah. They're the worst team in hockey halfway through the season, and now they're in the final. So it's pretty cool, if they, especially only if they win. Did they make crazy. a trade or something like that? How yeah, that they fired their coach, I think. I don't know what happened. A bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think they uh, they fired their coach. and It's something. They got they got, they got caught a heater. And may, may it turn around tomorrow. So go, go Blues. Yep, hockey is a uh, a cool game, but again, I mean, I'm gonna blame it squarely on hockey for not uh, educating me enough on the game there to know. Go. I know what's going on yeah. during the game, but then I kind of don't know what's going on right. with all the players. So, you should, the part of the reason why we all like uh, baseball and football is that it's kind of like a uh, what do you call it, a drama. Yeah, it's kind of like a real uh, what do you call it a. Um, reality show there right you, go. you got these yeah. players you know and the personalities so like they gotta you know tell yeah. us these stories about these players and all that stuff right yeah all right all right so that gene that's it all right that's the show for the week well i have a great week i'll be reporting back on my first uh deadhead i'll be a deadhead for one night although i don't right. have a tie-dye shirt but i'll i'll, I'll see what i can do It'll be my first right. experience. Are you gonna are you gonna drop acid? I'm no, I'm not. And I look forward. I bet Bill Walton will be there. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> he's got to be easy to spot. Yeah, because he's so tall. So I'm gonna look for him because he goes to a ton of them. All right, anyway. Jeez. Have a great week, everybody. Okay. Well, so uh, for why is this? Doing? Okay. So for Gene Steichen, we're gonna play the music. Oh, very nice. For Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. See you guys next week.